Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a Wolfenstein 3D FPS clone in Unity and welcome to episode 10. In this tutorial we're going to focus on some UI, we're going to have some music as well and if we have time we're going to start looking more at our gun and the ammo and combining the two mechanics together. Uh, don't forget click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial in this series and with that in mind let's get to work. So basically what we have to work with here is the UI that we would have at the bottom and obviously if you've played the uh, original Wolfenstein 3D game you'll know that the UI is down the bottom here and generally um, everything that we need to know about the game is there. So let's take a look at how we can actually do this. Now ultimately we're going to use uh, a multitude of different UI elements and obviously they're all going to be inside the UI menu here. But it's worth noting that you don't have to necessarily stick to the same um, same ways that I do this. You could deviate from what I do just a little bit. So to start with, let's have a look at creating our first section. So UI and then let's go to panel. Let's double click the panel. And obviously it covers the entire screen, but we don't want it to cover the entire screen because that's not how this really works. So we have the kind of blue at the bottom in the many different ways. So we have like floor, we have score, we have ammo, whatever else. So let's arrange this now so as it kind of always appears down the bottom. So we need to anchor right here. So click on the anchor position, have it stretch center down here. So that means that it's down the bottom and it always goes along. Sorry, it's this one just here. So stretch along the bottom. All we need to do then is use the rec tool right here and align it so as it fits perfectly where we'd want it to be. So you can always go to the game view just to see how it looks. And that does seem maybe a little bit too short. So we just bring it up ever so slightly. That may do it. Okay, yep, that'll look. So you can take the time if you need to, to make it look better. So let's have that iconic blue color. So let's select the color right here. Let's have blue and select it right there. And let's also change the alpha to full 255. Obviously we have the full alpha 255 because that dictates the fact it is completely opaque. Alpha of zero means that we see right through it transparent and anything in between is translucent so we can see through it slightly just about there or we can see through it quite a lot down here so I'm going to stick it as 255 which is maximum may change the blue slightly I think it's more like that blue let's have a quick look yep okay so it's starting to look the part now so what we're going to focus on at the moment is getting our ammo in position and what we'll do with that is we will create another panel inside this panel right here. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and I'm going to right click on this panel and rename it and we'll have this as UI panel. So everything within the UI that we create from now on goes in here. So right click UI and panel right there. So obviously this panel is going to be over towards the right hand side because that's where the ammo usually is. So let's bring this panel a bit smaller so we can bring it in using our rec tool. I think it's probably somewhere around here but as always we can kind of work a little bit with it and resize it as we gradually build more and more UI elements into this. Uh, what we need to do is change the anchoring position to be center and Actually, I'm thinking we probably should leave it as stretch because um, I'll show you a little trick now. What we can do is if we press play and we can take this game tab at the top and we can actually drag it out and make it its own thing. Now, if we resize, we can see how much this reacts to what we're doing. So the stretch is going to be relative to the frame size. So if you're playing in that kind of resolution, it's going to look a bit silly. But we're not going to be playing that resolution. We're going to be playing in about that resolution. So we do need to adjust this slightly. So let's click that again. And then let's drag this tab back there and stop that. So we need to shrink that just a little bit. 
And I'm just thinking, is that really... Ultimately, you can choose what you want to do with it. We'll leave it as it is for now. We'll see how it looks when we actually get into full game development. And if we need be, we can change it. So never be afraid to leave things as they are. Never be afraid to change it because you can either do one or the other. So I'm going to shrink it just a little bit. And I'm going to bring it up just a little bit as well to about there. Yep, that looks okay. And I'm also going to change the blue on it. So I'm going to have um, blue again. Going to have it a slightly darker blue, probably about there, and have it full alpha once again. Okay, so I'm going to stick with that. And as I've said probably about 60 times already in this tutorial, it, you can do whatever you want. It's your game at the end of the day. You can make it as customized as you want. So in here, now we now need that ammo label. So within this panel itself, I'm going to right click and rename ammo panel and now within there right click UI and we'll go with text so we're going to stick with the simple text that we have for now what's like we did with the ammo value we kind of modified that just a little bit so I'm going to initially name this uh, just as ammo uh, I'll make it bold and I'm also going to make it um, I think it's like an off-white kind of color so probably about that and font size we'll make it a bit bigger so we'll have 30 that may be too big though um might be all right actually so let's shift this into position there and we do want to keep it center so that's fine as it is obviously we're going to change the font as well i think that'll probably do that next tutorial because we'll deal with fonts and whatnot because obviously the font doesn't look like that so let us take this text now, right click and rename, and we'll call this ammo label. So next thing to do with this ammo section is basically take this ammo value and place it inside this ammo panel. So we can drag and drop onto there. And then we just need to rearrange this. Let's change the anchoring to be bottom center and then move it into position with the rec tool. Let's shrink that just a little bit. Keep everything neat and tidy. There we go. And we're going to have this not quite white. We'll have it a little bit kind of off-white again. I think roughly about there. Let's click on the game view and have a look. Okay, so it's starting to come together. Let's have a look how this looks within the game now. So, already there's just a couple of things that I do want to change. I want to change uh, the UI right here. So I'm going to stretch it beyond the width of the game view in all directions. Just because it looks a little bit daft if you don't. So let's have that there. And let's see what that looks like. And on the back of that, we may need to raise... There we go. Yeah, we may need to raise where the gun shoots. A uh, little bug there, I've noticed. A little bug. Uh, so we'll do that next. We'll have a little debugging session next tutorial as well. Um, so yeah. Now, let's design a little bit more of this. So let's kind of pre-plan where we're going with what we're doing here. So obviously over here we have the image of the weapon that we have hold of. So we can actually take this UI panel itself or rather the ammo panel, hold control, press D to duplicate. And then let's bring it over here to probably about there. Uh, increase the size probably to round about there. And within that, we can actually get rid of the ammo label and ammo value. And let's rename this to weapon panel. So obviously we'll bring in the image of a weapon here. Uh, next to it, I believe we can have keys, if my memory serves me right. I should really look at a reference picture, because it's been quite a while since I've played Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, so what we can do is take this one, hold control, press D, bring it to probably about there maybe. See if it snaps together. How's that look? Yeah. And then raise this one about there. 
and we'll have this as key panel zero one and we'll all press D and we'll have that as key panel zero two. In fact, we may have more than just keys in there. We'll see how it pans out. So I'm not going to go through um, developing this too much because I'm, I'm sure you guys already know how this is going to look, where you want everything. I mean, we want to keep everything as neat and tidy and uniform as possible. We don't want to overdo things. Um, so we are going to gradually build upon this UI. So uh, what we'll do now is we will add in some overworld music. So in our audio, let's right click, create folder, and we'll simply title this music. And within here, I'm going to drag and drop this audio clip, which you can get on the website. Head over there, downloads and assets, Wolfenstein 3D FPS clone, and download it under tutorial 10. Now, this is something I quickly threw together in FL Studio. It's nothing too spectacular. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. This is just here for your convenience if you want to do the same. And generally to get this working is actually very, very simple and it works in pretty much the same way as we already have done with audio in other parts, i.e. the firing and the door. Uh, so let's expand FPS controller and in audio, we have effects. So let's right click on audio, create empty, and let's have this as music. And within here, right click, create empty. And this can be, uh, in fact, we'll call it floor. So floor zero one, and then drag and drop this wolf simple onto there. And I'm actually gonna turn the volume down on this one because I do believe it's gonna be quite loud. So I'm gonna have it maybe 0.2. Uh, we do want to tick play on awake and we do want to tick loop because we want it to constantly loop, obviously. So I'm going to save my scene there and press play. And there we go. Okay, so. Things coming together quite nicely now. So next tutorial, um, like I said, we're going to build more of this UI. Uh, I think we'll actually, well, we're definitely going to have to mesh the gun uh, mechanics and ammo mechanics together. So we'll do that as well. And we'll also have a quick debug session as well, because there are a couple of little glitches I want to sort out before we go any further. Obviously, there's more glitches, like um, a good example is the gun kind of blending into the wall like this. That is something we will sort out later because we're going to deal with something specific which also is not just to fix that glitch but to also help us in different ways within Unity itself. And for those um, Eagle Eye viewers, I know I think two people so far up to now have spotted it. Yes, I did spell ceiling wrong. It is C-E-I, not C-I-E. That is my terrible, terrible fingers typing too fast. Yep, sorry, my bad. Either way, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. So until that next tutorial, guys, thank you very much for watching.